Okay, so as promised, let's talk about, I gotta go rid of my change from before. Let's talk about how to, um, how to handle the next test case. So the next test case is asking you to update the display so that not only the name of the restaurant is shown, but also the restaurant's cuisine, which might be useful for people as they're browsing to kind of know like what kind of food that restaurant served. Um, so we talked in the last video about data binding and we talked about this item underscore restaurant.xml file and how it's essentially converting a restaurant object to part of the display. And we talked about the fact that it's using this expression here to retrieve the name, which is being set in this text field that's then rendered. Okay. Now here's the cool thing about this, right? Which is that um, when it uses this property name, it's really just calling get name. And so if I go over here, let's say I create a, uh, a public string get full name property. And let's say I just return hello world. Once I create this, now is there a real property here? No, so this is kind of a weird getter in the sense it's not returning the value of a private variable, it's just returning a constant, right? Um, but the cool thing is now when I go over here, I can actually just type start typing full name and it will use that. So anything that starts with the get, you can use here with this calling convention that I remove the get and then I decapitalize the next, next letter. So if I run this, what's gonna happen is you're gonna see that now instead of the name of the restaurant, it's gonna call get full name, get full name is gonna return this string and that's what's gonna be shown on the screen. So that's my suggestion. There are other ways to do this. That's not the only way to solve the problem, but I think this is the easiest way, right? Is to essentially create this pseudo field or pseudo property on your restaurant class and then have your item.restaurant layout fragment use that to display the, the information about the restaurant. So that's, that's my suggestion about how to accomplish this. Um, there are other ways to do it and maybe you'll find another one, but I think this is the one's most straightforward. So good luck. Uh, this is, you know, another place where this is like not a huge amount of code to write, but there are some conceptual challenges in just sort of getting to this point and understanding what's happening. So uh, good luck. And if you need help, you know where to find us.